what? It's okay. It's all right. The most wild thing just happened. Um, <laughs> ta -da! Oh, it's cold. I admit I was wrong, you know? Friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a weekend vlog. Oh my gosh, it actually feels so much like a weekend because yesterday I had one of those days where I did not leave the house. I just like got so caught up and then actually even ahead. I filmed two different YouTube videos. I filmed an apartment tour, I filmed a favorite video. I uploaded a couple others. I like got a few campaigns done, edited. I just did so much, even like life things. I did four loads of laundry. I finally self tanned again. Like I'm feeling good and I'm feeling so on top of things and just ready for the weekend. Tomorrow I get to hang out with Jacqueline and Mark, which is so exciting. If y'all don't know, my sister is a CPA um, at EY and it's been busy season. So she's been working literally till like 11 PM at night and working weekends. And I haven't seen her in so long. I haven't seen her since my birthday. So that'll be great. Today's pretty chill. I have pottery tonight. I'm going in for open studio. I'm hoping I get to glaze all the things that I threw. I'm hoping that they're out of the bisque fire. And then maybe even throw some more things. I'm really trying to get down my thumbprint mugs and my berry bowls because I wanna like batch make quite a few of those to give as gifts to people. And also I think it's finally time. I'm gonna go to the Apple store and see if perchance Apple Care will replace my phone because I swear I have a lemon. My phone just like, so many things go wrong with it all the time. I have to restart it all the time. It just like freezes and locks, texts don't send, pictures don't save. Like I take pictures, you go to the camera roll, they're not there. There's been times where my dad has texted me and it's come from me. Like so many weird things happen with it. So I've had them look at it before and they're like, we don't see anything wrong, but I think I'm gonna be like, can I just replace my phone? I think it's a software issue. So we'll see. Maybe we'll go to the mall and get that done. I wanted to show y'all this um, dupe that I found on Amazon. I shared this on TikTok. I've been trying to be active on TikTok. I actually did like a little chat while I did my makeup this morning on TikTok. And I feel like whenever I do that, my makeup does not turn out because I'm so focused on what I'm saying. Go buy the silver bottle, buy the gray bottle. You know the Slip brand of silk scrunchies? I love them, but they're so expensive. They're $40 for six of them. So. They're like $6.50 a scrunchie. I found these on Amazon. Six pack is $16 and I swear they are identical. I've been wearing this one for a few days now. I haven't taken these out um, just cause this one has been enough, but they're V-L-O-M-O-N-T and they're also 100% silk and I swear they are identical. So I'm really excited to find that dupe. They hold so well. So, you know, for my girls, look at that. Look at that, there's just two loops. <laughs> I've changed. It's so hot outside, so I'm just wearing my trousers and my everyday tanks. But I realize I should probably back up my phone if they let me exchange it, and I'm hoping they do. So just eating a little prosciutto snack while that backs up, and then we'll hit the road. Fingers are crossed. Oh my gosh, thank goodness I waited a minute at home because I just got the craziest text from my manager and I'm low-key freaking out. Um, okay, I knew I was getting to work with Seed on today's video. I did not know what my discount was gonna be because uh, apparently May is Digestive Health Month, but I just got the text that for May, they are making my promo code 40% off for YouTube. Normally it's 15% off your first month, but they're just being so kind. What? Thank you, Seed, for that and for partnering with me, but this is my um, probiotic that I take every single day. It's it's a symbiotic, meaning it's a probiotic and a prebiotic. It has changed my life. Like, I'm not saying that dramatically. I'm saying that actually. It affects so many different areas of your health. For me, immune function and digestion are huge, but also like cardiovascular, your skin, like it is so interconnected and supporting so many different systems that for me, it's my one non-negotiable. I will never skip taking my daily probiotic. They sent me some fun facts too, since it is Digestive Health Month. So like 
different foods and the benefits that they have, which I think is so cool. Radishes are high in fiber, which I knew, but also helps to regulate bile production. And I just said in the last vlog, I felt like my brain was telling me to look into my liver and my bile production. And that is just very interesting. That is the first food that they list. Um, asparagus is really high in insoluble fiber, which insoluble fiber is the type that like you don't absorb, which helps regular movements, if you know what I mean. It like bulks the stool, so that's really helpful. Ooh, okay, mint has antimicrobial potential. It's also anti-inflammatory. So many different great things about mint. <gasps> Maybe I can make some like mint tea tonight. I don't know, but I love seed so much. I know so many of y'all have been commenting in my Facebook group saying I finally did it. And I don't know why I didn't do it sooner because like my bloating, my digestion, my regularity, all these things are just immediately improved. And so I love getting to hear that. And I cannot believe that they're making my code 40% off this month. Happy digestive health month, guys. Cheers to that. And my phone is backed up. So let's go to the mall. My phone is backed up, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, my phone is running a diagnostic and I said it should take a while, but I can leave the store. So I'm gonna go pick up a matcha and we're gonna come back and we're gonna see what my luck is. If they say, okay, here's a new phone or not. Okay, I came to Houndstooth and they have a house-made lavender syrup right now. So I got an iced oat matcha latte. Normally I like my matcha unsweetened, but something about a lavender matcha sounded interesting. So I'm gonna give it a taste. That's really good. Sometimes, not gonna lie, sometimes lavender tastes like hand soap to me and drinks. This one's good. That's a fun way to kill time. Okay, back to the Apple store. I was gonna take B-roll on my phone of the inside of the coffee shop. Then I realized it wouldn't be backed up, so I wouldn't have it anyways. Well, unfortunately, no luck. And they can't transfer my phone over because it's through an account I don't have access to and the new phones don't have SIM cards anymore. So I'm just kind of like stuck with my broken one until I figure that out. It's okay, it's all right. I have done it a year. Well, to not make the trip out to this mall a total flop, I went ahead and stopped by Sephora to pick up one thing, the Rare Beauty uh, Tinted Moisturizer. I've been wanting to find something slightly more full coverage than what I use every day, just for like the times that I wanna wear, you know, a little more full coverage. And I went down an absolute rabbit hole on TikTok last night, watching every single review for every single tinted moisturizer ever and then went to go try a few in store and this was the winner and I got shade matched 16C. They like held a camera up to my face and it told me my shade, it was pretty cool. So not, not a total waste of time, which is great. Guess what time it is. Oh, you'd never guess. Time for another car chat because I couldn't sleep last night. It was so frustrating. I went to bed at like 10.30 and I was just laying there wide, wide eyed till 1.30. And whenever that happens, I do actually have my most introspective thoughts, so you know, something good comes out of it I guess I normally get like new realizations but I was laying there with my eyes wide open and I was thinking about how when I went to my friend's birthday dinner the other night um people asked her really great questions being like what's something you're leaving behind in 28 what's something that you've learned this year what's something that you're bringing into 29 all sorts of questions and she was talking about how she recognized that this past year she she became okay with saying I made a mistake I messed up and I was thinking about that. I was like, that is really cool because we don't do that very often as humans. We, we're we not quick to admit fault. I actually feel like this is bold to say, but I feel like we live in a really defensive culture. Like I feel like we're kind of always on defense. And if someone were to point something out about us wrong, especially on the internet, we're so quick to be like, no, 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 I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I recognize that having the ability to say, yeah, I was wrong. I didn't know that. I made a mistake. I know that now. I'm going to thank you for, for letting me know is actually kind of really hot. Confidence and humility at first glance kind of feel like they're on the opposite side of the spectrum. To me, humility is kind of synonymous with being humble and being humble and being confident at first glance don't seem to be super related. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that they are so related. They are like siblings because in order to have humility, you have to have that deep internal confidence to say, I was wrong. I wrote down, um, let me see. Humility is safe. It's respectful. It takes strength. It takes grace and it takes a deep inner confidence to be humble. It takes a confidence in knowing who you are and knowing that your value it doesn't change. Your worth doesn't change. If you were to mess up 
make mistakes, etc. I want to try to cultivate this humility and this like humble way of living to where I feel so confident in my worth that I'm able to say, you're absolutely right. I, I made a mistake. I messed up. I had no idea. I wasn't aware of that and be educated and grow and change and learn because that is just really admirable to me. So that's something that I want to start focusing on is being okay with saying, I admit I was wrong, you know? Time to go home. I'm gonna have a quick turnaround to eat a liner situation, take out Max, change into pottery clothes, and go to the studio. Oh, I'm so excited. I really hope my pieces were bisque because I wanna glaze them so bad. I'm here at the studio and I think I see some of mine all the way up there, so I'm gonna try to get them down and check. hard to find them up there but so far we have one mug I think this is going to be large enough for coffee for lattes I hope and look how cute the berry bowl came out in this clay love it the garlic grate dish I did a haul of these on TikTok when I carved them but not obviously after they've been bisqued just a simple little bowl with a cute little foot. The last two are this dog bowl. The focus is crazy that I made for Max. I think I want to glaze the inside white and leave the outside raw. And then, first I couldn't find this, so I thought it died in the kiln, but it survived. One other little mug. Saturdays. There's like, if you sleep in, there's zero level of guilt. It just feels nice. I slept until 9.30 and I'm getting ready for the day. Um, first, first things first, my butt is so sore from those like 15, 20 minutes yesterday. So let that be a sign to you that if you only do 20 minutes, it does something, especially if you're weak like me. Um, but it is so windy outside. I bet you'll hear the wind go by. It's going by and like, <laughs> on the windows. And we were gonna go to Barton Springs with Jacqueline and Mark today, which is like the um, the natural springs swimming hole here in Austin, because yesterday it was like 90 degrees and sunny. But something tells me we're gonna have to figure out a different plan today because it's in the 60s or 70s and so windy. But I really started the vlog right now this morning to try the new skin tint. I do get a little bit nervous to try new skin things because I'm like, is this, is my skin not gonna like this? And is this gonna just like completely break me out? Like I said, I have, I have two things that I use very often for light coverage, but I just wanna try something that's a bit more medium. My light coverage days, I go between these two things, the Typology Skin Tint and the Glossier. And I love that. I love the no makeup makeup look, but I think this is a bit more coverage. And I also, for the first time in my life, want to try a foundation brush. I know nothing about brushes. I know absolutely nothing about brushes. So I want to try half my face with my fingers and half my face with a brush, okay? That's what we're gonna do. This side we're gonna try with my fingers. Wow, yeah, that looks like a lot of coverage. Look at that. 
Wow, that might have been too much, which is crazy. I'm not used to pigment going this far. I think I'm gonna have to beauty blender. Can we see a difference? Actually, yeah, I can. I feel like brushes waste product. <laughs> oh, this feels crazy. I don't think I like using a brush. It is kind of getting a little patchy up here. Maybe I stick with my usual skin tints. Do you see that? Hmm. I'm not sold yet. Here's the final look. I think it's gonna take me a while to get used to it. I do still see just like some texture here. And I, I don't like to see makeup on the skin. I, I love like dewy, dewy, dewy. I get comments all the time that people are like, you should powder your face. And I'm like, I like dewy. I feel like it's just very youthful and healthy. It makes it look like I drank water today and I slept eight hours, I'm hydrated. <laughs> this might not be my everyday thing because it's giving makeup, which it is. So that's fair. We're gonna still try to go to Barton Springs, even though it's pretty windy, but in the sun, it's not bad. Um, and then if it's bad, we're just gonna leave and go to lunch. So I'm bringing two pool towels. What else? I'll bring a hat so that I can sit in the lupus girly things. Gotta wear my long sleeve, bring a hat. We'll get all of our sun protection stuff and we will head out and meet up with Jacqueline and Mark. I'm feeling a little bit stuffy today and tired. And I'm like, hopefully it's allergies. Hopefully it's not another weird thing coming up. We had a great pool day. We went to Deep Eddy, which is different from Barton Springs, but it's next to a spot called Pool Burger. So they got a burger. There's nothing gluten free there. So I got an ice cream and I made a float. I made a Diet Coke float, but it's across the street from the Goodwill. And if there's one thing this family actually is aligned on, it's our love for thrifting. Yeah. <laughs> I think Mark's every single clothing item. Is this thrifted? Oh yeah. Is this thrifted? No. I mean, all my shorts uh, are not is this thrifted? shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jacqueline just found a little lighthouse village. And part of me is a little tempted. I don't think I could incorporate this. Oh my gosh, they have different locations. Let me see if I've been to any of these. No. No. I haven't been to any of these lighthouses. What are you doing? <laughs> oh gosh. Are you making a little tableau? I'm just trying to add to it. Look at this. That's absolute art. You've really elevated the lighthouses. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. I was thinking so too. They need to hire you for staging. I know, right? Yeah, that <laughs> nothing says by me like that. Those things together. <laughs> what a fun day. The most wild thing just happened. It's not that wild, but it's like pretty cool. I just went with Jacqueline and Mark to their apartment building. Hi, bud. Hi, Bubby. So I used to live in the same apartment building that Jacqueline and Mark live in, but they just decided today that the floor plan I used to live in opened up and it's actually cheaper than renewing their lease. And so I just went with them to tour it and they're gonna move into the same floor plan that I used to live in. Isn't that so fun? It's like very nostalgic for me to be back at that apartment and then in the exact same floor plan. So they'll be doing that in like a month or so when their lease is up and that'll just be fun. But I got home to a couple packages. Um, I'm seeing my parents tomorrow and my mom is actually out of town for Mother's Day. So I wanna bring her her Mother's Day gift tomorrow. And what she told me she really wanted was some of my pottery. I thought it'd be cute to give her one of the matcha bowls I made and maybe a little mug, even though all of my mugs are a little too small. The big ones aren't quite done. So I wanna make her a little like matcha gift basket. Ooh, this whisk is pretty big. So I got a matcha whisk and then she likes flavored matcha. I did not know that Emma Chamberlain came out with matcha, but it was on Amazon. So I got the vanilla. Um, I'm kind of curious to try it sometime. You know what, let's just put the box together, together. Okay, here's a matcha bowl I made. I just need to make things bigger. Everything shrinks so much more than I realize. And 
Out of all the mugs that I have finished, this one I think is the prettiest thumbprint mug. It's a very small glass of matcha, <laughs> but I'm learning, okay? And remember how in a vlog recently I said I like to save PR packaging whenever it's not branded and reuse it as gifts? I thought maybe I could make a cute little gift in here and tie like a bow on the outside, so let's see. I'll tussle these in a little bit better. Okay, I think it all fits pretty nicely. I need two hands to close this, but I also need to see if I have any ribbon. Let's see. Um, this might work. And a card. Ta-da! It's pretty much just a homemade gift, but I'm glad my mom likes matcha as much as I do. Hopefully she will love that. I love weekends. Thanks for coming along on weekends with me. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here in a sec because guess what I gotta do? I gotta pack tonight for the next solo trip. Um, it's time to go to Cape Cod on Monday. So I gotta just kinda like get things in order, get things packed, do laundry. So I'm gonna end the vlog here, but thanks for coming along with me on a Friday, Saturday. Things are gonna seed for the amazing increase in my discount. So don't forget, it's gonna all be linked in the description down below. It's code Mikkel for this month. It'll get you 40% off of your first month. Amazing, incredible. We love it. I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your day. And Maxie and I will see you very soon. Um, actually, you won't see Max because solo trip. See you in Cape Cod. All night, all night, all night.